Hi everybody, today we're going to be making split pea soup. These peas are the same as these, although these have been rinsed and they're ready to go. So the first thing you always want to do is you want to check and make sure that all of your peas don't have any strange stones or anything in it. Rinse them once or twice, get the water fairly clear. Then we have a variety of other ingredients, garlic, onions, celery, and carrots. That's all we're going to do to start. At the end we'll add a few more ingredients, but we'll come to that later. So you can see this first onion here is already chopped up. Simple chop. Once across the middle, turn it sideways, come back and just cut four across the top. Simple as that. Put those off to the side. You're going to take your garlic, put it over here. Now if you notice I've already peeled the garlic, and we'll do that another time and I'll show you some tricks. What we're going to do with the garlic is just give it a simple rough chop. Just run your knife right through it. Nothing fancy, this is all going to go into a boiling pot of water, so you don't have to be too fanatical. Now you can see I already gave the celery one cut, so we'll go ahead and follow up with the rest. So what I usually do is put a few pieces of celery across, all face down so you don't have the ridge, you have the ridge side up. Make them even at the top, and just go across with some cuts. Ah, I picked one up. Go across with some cuts as you go, and what that will do is give you roughly a fair amount of cuts that are even sized. Again, since they're going in boiling water, not too fanatical. So we'll finish up with those. Now the carrots, don't worry about the carrots too much. What I've already done is taken the tops and the bottoms off. We're going to go ahead and just chop those into like four pieces. No big deal whatsoever here. Now, the fun part that everybody got to miss was the leftover New Year ham. This is going to go into a pot of boiling water. Along with all of the items that we've just cut. Pause. All right, well, we're back. Now we've uh, been about 10 minutes or so, everything's in the pot, starting to boil. Now what you'll also notice is as you boil you'll get a little bit of fuzz at the top. What you're going to want to do is not worry about that. No big deal. Vegetables will do that, so does the bone that, I, that you have put in. Now if you remember we had that bone I showed you, some ham, here it is. Now what that is actually done for us, not only is going to give us flavor, but it's also going to allow us to add all of this. We'll add this in a few moments. Here's the peas, washed and drained. They're going to go in first. And then, I have my assistant chef, Chris, ready on the sidelines with some extra ingredients that are going to make it extra, extra good. So the first thing that we're going to have Chef Chris bring to us, and I'm going to throw him a curve because I told him one thing, now I'm going to tell him something else. Chef Chris, please bring me the black pepper. So what we're going to take is the black pepper, and we're going to come right over here to, I usually go for this, you know, measuring's nice. If you want to measure, we're looking at about two tablespoons, more or less, of black pepper. I'll put that off to the side. Chef Chris, would you please bring me the poultry seasoning? And this actually is the celery salt. Just a little bit in this jar, because you can tell I like to use it. So this one's going to be approximately maybe a teaspoon to two teaspoons, teaspoon and a half. We don't want a lot of salt in in the beginning phase of cooking any kind of bean because what happens is it'll kind of get a little crunchy on the outside. The skin will be crunchy. These are split peas, so that won't happen with them. So next, Chef Chris, I'm going to need the poultry seasoning. Now this is actually the poultry seasoning. A lot of people use chicken stock and whatnot. Well, I didn't use chicken stock, but I like that background flavor that the sage and the rosemary and the thyme and all of these other interesting ingredients give you. Here you go, Chef Chris. Now we're going to give that all just one nice big stir. I'm going to let that just sit for one minute. We miss anybody? Oh, there's two in there. I always think everybody should go together, so let's make sure they all get out of there. There's three, I think. And that's our director, John, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so in here, this is now ham that came off of this bone. It's just cubed. 
ham we roasted, so we've just got some cubes. Try to do them a little large, because they are going to break down in here. Some of them will, some of them won't. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop all that in there right now together. Now, you can take ham straight out of, you know, if you want to just go and get the boar's head ham, have them slice it extra thick, cut it into cubes, that's great. Farmer John ham, cut it into some cubes, get a couple ham steaks, that's great. Although, <coughs> with New Year's just past us, we, you know, we had some extra ham left over, so here we are. So now what we're going to do with this, we're just going to put it all off to the side for a few moments. And you can kind of get a look inside here and see how we're going. What we're going to do is let this come to a boil, uncovered. As soon as it does, you're going to reduce it down to a simmer, which is, in other words, a medium to low medium heat. And you're going to want to stir occasionally. And by occasionally, I mean often. So make sure that you have nothing sticking to the bottom. Later, as this thickens up, we're going to take the ham bone out. We're going to do a little bit of smashing up with the peas. We're going to take some of the ham out as well, leave some of the ham in there so you get a little bit smashed and a little bit whole. And then we're going to add another round of pepper, salt, and fresh carrots. As that happens, the carrots will kind of get nice and soft. These will be cut into thin rounds. We'll come back to that later in the program. All right, split peep soup. Okay, so we're back. This has been boiling for, oh, about 10 minutes initially, and then we went ahead and let it simmer for... Oh, I would say probably 35 minutes altogether. Now, I know I said we were going to add some new carrots. We're not going to. What I did is I went ahead and took this regular potato masher right on in there and just kind of gave it, gave it hell. So what happens is you wind up with a good mush. It's still going to cook a lot of the water out. It's going to thicken up to what you kind of think is that London fog pea soup kind of deal. Here are the, the chunks of ham that came off of our bone. And then what we've done is we've gone ahead and cubed them up into roughly larger pieces. I let them cook in here for a while, took them out before I did the mushing. Now we're going to go ahead and add them right back in. Now at this point, we're going to have to call Chef Chris in again. We're going to need to add those spices we talked about. So Chef Chris, we'd like to see the salt right now if we could. Just regular table salt this time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in, I'm figuring every pinch is roughly a teaspoon, so we're at three, that's a tablespoon, and a half of salt initially. A lot of salt because you've got a lot of peas and a lot of vegetables in there that have given off their own flavors, not to mention the water. The ham, since it's already been cooked, wasn't salty like a ham hock would be or something along those lines. So next thing we're going to ask Chef Chris for is the garlic powder. Now what I do, just regular garlic powder, I like to beef up the flavor a little bit, or garlic up the flavor a little bit as it were, and we're looking at probably about a tablespoon of that as well. Lastly, any good pea soup needs black pepper. So we're going to ask for the black pepper, and there it is from Chef Chris. Now remember we added a little bit initially, and we're going to go ahead and add about the same. So we're looking at about a teaspoon and a half, thereabouts. You're going to give that all one nice gentle stir, still with the top off. No top on this, this recipe yet. We're going to turn the heat down to a medium low. We're going to let that simmer. We should come back to this in about, oh, 25 minutes and see how thick it is. And at that point, we'll be able to make some decisions about what we need to do, thickening it a little bit more or where we need to go. At this point, it's, it's fairly liquidy. We do want to make sure we keep stirring so we do not get anything sticking on the bottom. But right now, we're in good shape. So we'll see you shortly. Enjoy the break. Well, now at this point, we've been cooking for about 15 minutes or so. And you can see that we're no longer really thin. We're starting to thicken up really nicely. So what we're going to do is, depending on how you like your soup, and I, I like mine anywhere from here to very much, much thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and stop at this point where I'm cooking it. And we're going to uh, add a couple things to finish it off. So, Chef Chris, I think first I'd like to see the soy sauce. Now, I know you say soy sauce. Sean, you're pointing over here. Dude. Sorry, Robbie. You say soy sauce in pea soup. We're just going to add a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what I mean by a little bit. That's it. And all that. 
Now what soy sauce does is it acts as a saltiness, obviously, but it also gives it a round flavor to go along with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and ask for the olive oil. And we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top. And you ask how much, oh, I don't know, about three and a half seconds worth. <laughs> Now at this point, the only thing that we're going to want to add is, I, you can tell I'm a fan of black pepper. We're going to add just a little more black pepper on the top here. Now the rest of this, we're just going to go ahead and stir it on in. And at this point, we're pretty much at soup. So, why don't, uh, Chef Chris, why don't you step in right here and stir. And go ahead and stir very nicely like this. There we go. There you go, Chef. I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl so we can put some of those into a bowl. Okay, we're all good there, Chef. Thank you. Alright, guys, so here's what we're going to do. You can see everything that we put in it originally. We've got the ham. We've got carrots, we've got celery. The only thing I added when you weren't looking is a little bit of parsley. So here we're going to go ahead and put some in a bowl. See the ham's nice and nice and cooked and juicy. I'll go ahead and let all that go in there. And there we have it. Pea soup. Enjoy the recipe. See you next time. Bye.